Hi, Kathy here from the Lake Clear Lodge in the Adirondack Mountains of New York State. Welcome to the Old World Kitchen. I'm going to show you how to roll German beef roulotta. And this is the way my German mother-in-law taught me, so I'm pretty sure it's authentic. This is uh, uh, usually a part of our roast and stews and sautés class, but I'm going to show you how to roll the roulotta. Okay, so I'm going to show you the ingredients I have here. First, I'm going to start out with some beautiful grass-fed beef. See that nice, rich color in there? I've been able to slice that on a slicer, fairly thin. Uh, you can have it done, or if you have, you're lucky enough to have a slicer at home, you can do that. And then some of the pieces that came from it. You're going to have some nice slices, and you're probably going to have pieces, but you can use everything that you have. Okay, so here are the three ingredients I'm going to put inside my roulotta. I have some beautiful pastured pork. This is actually milk-fed pork, and it's nice and fatty because I have some lean beef. Um, we need some fat um, in that. If you, your bacon wasn't so fatty, then you could use some fresh lard as well. So just some um, diced up, chunked up onions, not really, too, um, not really too critical on how you have them all done. And some pickle, actually just some good old dill pickle. Okay, so now I'm going to roll the roulotta. I'm going to take a couple of our beautiful slices here. Put them together. Just overlapping a little bit, probably an inch or so. Kind of pound them a little, partly to tenderize, partly because it'll make your... There, partly because it'll make your um, pieces stick together more when you roll them. A little bacon. A little onion. A little pickle. And then we're going to put a little salt and pepper. So just a little bit of salt through there. Put some cracked pepper. We like pepper. And then you turn one side up, the edges in, and then roll your roulotta. And then you come out with a nice rolled piece of, of beef with all your ingredients inside. And you're just going to keep on doing that um, with all the meat and all your ingredients and place it in your roasting pan.